August is here and so as August security patch is also here. A lot of customers are coming with the August security patch. Some customers skipped the June security patch, came with July security patch. Here's Droid X UI, one of those customers which brings you August security patch right now. I found there are no major customers available which is having August security patch, only few of them and one of them includes Droid X UI. What this is, let me just talk about some of the things about this custom room as quickly as possible. It's based on Android 13, it's having the August security patch and it was kind of stock Android previously in the previous 2-3 updates but finally some customizations are added and which are those customizations let me talk about that firstly the customizations start from the default launcher the default launcher is based on launcher 3 and the great feature the named as force themed icons is present here which means the icon which is not themed by default you do not have to worry about that simply enable this option and done we also have some home screen options, for example, hot seat background where you can customize this thing and it's totally up to you. Search bar and you can even restart the launcher. Restarting the launcher is one of the very useful things if, if this feature is present here. All the wallpapers and style is having the same kind of UI. It's not the new one like in some of the custom homes, but that's completely fine. This is not Android 14 and Android 14 stable update is also coming very very soon. I made a video on Android 14's final update, final beta update. You can go and check out if that if you want to. One of the best things about this custom home is the quick settings panel. Let me talk about some of the things about this quick settings panel as quickly as possible. It's kind of Android 11 style. You can see the stock Android 12 or Android 13 style quick settings panel is one of those which a lot of users do not like that. But this is Android 11 style quick settings panel which is available by default in this custom room. Kind of a disadvantage that you can't change it. But if you only want to use this thing, then you don't have to worry about this one. The settings app is also kind of themed and the UI is changed. This settings app UI is actually far better than the stock Androids. If I move on to the other options, the power menu is also changed. The power menu is having these two options, background blur and some of the things. It's almost same, nothing unique here, but the UI is bit changed and I just wanted to let you know. The power menu in other custom rooms is not the exact same like that, so it's a bit different. Including this one, if I move on to the wallpapers and style, and if I move on to the change wallpapers, you also got the new emoji wallpapers included. If you want to use this thing, you can use that. And emoji wallpapers are actually working perfectly fine. By the way, this is also bringing the cinematic wallpapers, but while making this video, this thing is not fixed. So if you want to use cinematic wallpapers, those are not working. So keep this thing in your mind. But emoji wallpapers are working perfectly fine no issues in using this one including this one if i move on to the security options one of the best things what i liked about this one is if i move on to the app log option you know that app log is available in a lot of custom homes if you move on to the protected apps and if you move on here you do not need to enable protection for that particular app if you want to hide it from there because in some of the custom homes i found if you enable if you want to hide that particular app from the launcher you have to enable protection for that first but in this case this is not necessary and that is one of the positives of using this one that's really impressive it's there these are the things which are present here in this droid x ui this is one of the best choices right now because it's quite improved although it's not bugless i found some of the bugs but those are not major bugs and can be fixed easily with the new update. So if you want to wait, you can. But if you want to install, you can use that very easily. Some fonts customizations are already present, although it does not having a lot of customizations. It actually does not focus on a lot of customizations. It's not having customizations like Ancient OS, Evolution Access OS, etc. But some useful things like network traffic indicator, double tap to sleep on the lock screen, sorry, on the status bar, quick settings panel like quick setting tile shape, which is as I just mentioned that it's having Android 11 style quick settings panel. You can't change it to Android 12 style. I hope in the next update, you will see the Android 12 or Android 13 style too, which means kind of an option, which is a good thing. I mean, if someone wants to use Android 11 style, they can use that. If someone wants to use a stock Android style, then you can use that. That could be a great thing. Retake a notification, at least it's present here. So that's amazing. That's really nice. You have the heads up option. You have the retake a notification options. All the miscellaneous also having that unlimited photo storage. Ignore window secure flags. Almost everything what you need is present here. 
these are things i just wanted to let you know as i just mentioned only few of the bugs are available here and there if you want to wait you can and if you want to install this link is available in the description this is it thanks for watching goodbye